As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Mind my step. Something's on my mind. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. Is this possible? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Anything of use? Open up. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby.
not open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. those wretched things. Vicious filth. Best keep some distance or this will be a short fight. choice but to keep going. What path lies before me? Survival isn't such a distant prospect. On my way. Traps, please.
I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. to keep that lovely neck of yours in one piece. Hmm? And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need her alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. <laughs> promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. <laughs> now, I saw you on the ship. Didn't I? Nod. <laughs> you wretched little... <sighs> Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things, somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... Ha! <laughs> Of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. My faith protects me. I am ready.
still alive, so that's progress. No one back home will ever believe this. At the ready. There. A mind flayer. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. This'll help. Take him to At least things have stayed interesting. How much farther can I go? You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... compassion. Compassion? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips, 
the creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Your minds fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster, death is too good for it. Goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Uh, 
A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Let me work my magic. Right away. Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Best be on my way. And I'll fill my pack. <laughs> 